Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at one of the smallest airstreams on the entire planet. This one being their brand new floor plan. This is a 2022 Airstream Base Camp Model 20X. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about the base camp and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews, Tobles. It's the world's only channel giving you a true and unbiased review about every RV that we see on the show. And again today, I am super excited that we are taking a look at the all new Basecamp 20X. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey, you're not Will. Hi everyone, I'm a native with Airstream of Tampa. Yes, you're our Airstream specialist. How's it going today? Good, it's really hot in here today. Yes, yes, thank you so much. What you guys don't know, is today your day off? It is, yeah. Thank you so much for coming in. As you know, Airstreams are just different. You only sell Airstream, working at the number one Airstream dealership in the entire country. And so it's just a different product, so we appreciate having an expert on the show. Thank you. What's your phone number? Our phone number is 813-452-6344. And your extension? 1655. Anita, ask for Anita if you need any help. Anita, okay. I'm super excited to take a look at this brand new floor plan. Let's begin up top here. All right, so manual jack in the front. Yes, yes. Well, first, I'm sorry, Anita. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Model is 20X. The actual tip, tip length is 20 feet, 2 inches. The width is seven feet, nine and a half inches, and the exterior height with the AC is nine feet, 1.5 inches. That's right. So what do we got going on up here? All right, up here you got a little bit of storage up front. This is where you can put your power cord, as you guys can see here. Now underneath here, let me see if I can get this open. Hold on, take this out. Probing oh, tank. okay, very nice. Now tell us a little bit about what the heck's a base camp because if we look at the shape of this, this is, the, oh, here's the shape. This is a smaller one. Yeah, it's but, but this this shape, it's not like any of the other Airstreams. What is a base camp? Yeah, base camp is a really fun trailer, very venturous. You can go off-roading with this base camp. It's really for someone coming from tank camping up to this. Okay. Um, it's gonna, you know, you're gonna be able to take it um, when you go hiking, biking, kayaking and such. It's really a really, really fun trailer. So what's the dry weight on this? So it's gonna be 3,400 pounds dry and then 4,300 fully loaded. Okay, perfect. So tell us what, what we got going on up here. Awesome, so this is part of the X package. If you order this, you can do the X package or not do the X package. It's gonna give you this rock guards up front. Okay. Now, I know you're probably gonna ask about this. It's so the little white film, it just comes with this sticker when it's traveling down from the factory, but we take these off, this is a stainless steel. Ah, oh, got it. So it's stainless steel, so it could absorb the rocks, right. and then this is aluminum. That's right. Yep. And then what, what? What's this right here? These are call, I call them the goggles of the trailer. Okay, goggles. I like These it. Are the solid guards to protect the windows. To make yeah. sure the windows don't bust open That's as right. well. Now I, I read they're called solar or something. Yeah, solar. Does, guards. Doesn't mean solar panels though, right? No, no, no. no. Okay, okay. <laughs> Just making sure. Yeah, absolutely. Continue on. What, what, what else do we got going on here? Uh, well, up in the front, you are gonna have a hookup so you can hook up an RV grill. Okay. So, nice. Little fun stuff here. I know you like to talk about tires. So. Yeah, look at those tires, Anita. You give it a try. All right, these are Goodyear tires. No, 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 no. Wait, they're, they're the Goodyear. They're I, the Goodyear tires. Yeah, what size are they? These are gonna be 16-inch tires. They're the LT235-85R16. I love the rims right there. Tell us what we got going on over here. Now, Yes. Oh, screen door. Oh, very nice. And then here's what I love about all Airstreams. And you, it, it, I, can't, I can't explain this in words or even sounds. And you guys might not explain it on the video, but listen. Solid. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're, these are expensive for what they are. 
but you're buying a great product here. And then she did say the steps. Oh, the tires and the lift kit are part of the X package that we mentioned. Okay. So that X package there. Got it. And I love the orange. It's base camp. And this is actually riveted on. So tell us, if this is somebody's first video, what makes Airstream special? What makes these expensive? Yeah, so aluminum superstructure. So they build the outside shell first, then the inside shell. Um, you are going to have rivets. They use rivets to uh, do the construction. And these take about 300 man hours to build. So wow. it's a really good product. Yeah, yeah. And, and they'll, they'll last generation. That's right. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. What do we got right here? Uh, we got some outlets. Okay, perfect. And then that's a little weird how it's sloping up. Is there like a lift kit on this? There is a lift kit. Now, okay. The reason why it's like that is, again, this is an off-roading trailer. Ah. You don't bottom out when you're going, you know. Got it. Okay, okay. A lot of hills and such. And then right there we do have manual stabilizing jacks. That's right, yep. Coming around the back. I love the retro look design. Oh, close the door real quick. I'm oh, so oh, sorry. No. no, you're doing great. Look at that. That is so cool looking. Continue, please. Thank you. All right, this awesome door back here. Now, it's so you can slide your bikes in here, your kayaks, your paddle boards. Wow. It's not really to come in through the back. It's just a big, big jump. Yes, <laughs> yes. But again, a nice emergency exit and everything. Up. Oh, yeah. Do you got that? Here. Um, if you hold this. And then just oh, hold it, camera okay. right here, and snap your fingers. Oh man, how'd you get me here so fast, Anita? It's like being a magician. <laughs> and then right here, we do have the screen and... It snaps in place. Yes, okay. It's definitely a little tight, but this way, when it snaps in place, it makes it so it's secure all the way around and then bugs aren't gonna get it. Let me get the last one. I'm almost there. Oh, last one's always the toughest. There you go. Very nice. So now you can go camping with the screen door being open. It's gonna stop love bugs like here in Florida. I don't know if you guys can see the love oh, bugs. Oh, is it love bug season? Yes. No. <laughs> Twice a year. Perfect. And listen to the way that door closes as well. That's right. Crazy. Continue on. Outside shower, hot and cold water. Okay. What else do we have here? All right, so water, uh, sorry, furnace, on demand tankless water heater, portable water. Portable. <laughs> city water connection, sorry, city water connection, and then the black tank flusher here. Perfect, and then, and then that's your tanks underneath there, right? Yeah, so that's one of the tanks, that's the fresh water tank. Now your black and your gray are gonna be over here. Okay. This is your 30 amp connection. Yes, with the new smart plug. That's right. This is, I know it's not big, but it's more for tools and things like that. Okay. <laughs> it's not a really big storage. No, but again, something's better than nothing. That's where you dump your black and gray tank. And then right there is where you store your sewer hose. Stinky slinky. Yes, ma'am. And then. Uh, right here you have a portable solar panel hookup. Perfect. And, and so what's going on for the roof? Now, I see that black, um, what you would call it? What you call the, the black top for the roof. It's not aluminum, right? It's not. No, it's not. So, so what, what, what's on the roof? Well, it, it is an aluminum piece, but you do still have um, the molding, the black molding on the side. Okay. Okay. Uh, you do have 180 watts of solar on the roof. That's an option. Perfect. Your air conditioner, believe it or not, is an option. Oh, that's an option? Yeah, it is an option. How many people did at Airstream of Tampa order it without an air AC? <laughs> not, not a, no, not a, may, maybe maybe Airstream of Canada, but not Airstream of Tampa. Yeah, not here in Florida. Well, Nada, the outside of this travel trailer looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Flash yeah, it on. Perfect. So inside here guys again very small trailer no slide outs but it still feels very big and spacious in here okay now anita before we begin it seems awfully dark in here what's up with that yeah you got your here let's do this shades darkening shades blackout mode yeah they step up and down 
Okay. Oh. All right. Oh, look at that. Now, this window does open. Okay. As well as that little one over there. Perfect. So, if you guys want to give us a second, we're going to, oops. If you guys give us a second, we're going to get all these open. Amita, you did that so fast. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, let's get started up here. Awesome. So we have your U-shaped thing that you can I, move this around. I love that, yes. Uh, you can turn this into a bed. The extra cushions are sitting over there right now. Okay, okay, very nice. Now this is a telescoping table. Yep. So it does just drop down. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. Okay, yep, yeah, raise it up. Perfect. It's a little low, there you go. Now, if you can hold the camera, let me see if I, my, my fat thighs can fit in it. Oh yeah, plenty of space. It's a little tight right here, but again, that's more me than the unit. But again, I love this big U-shaped dinette and look at this kind of panoramic view with the windows. It really, it's really nice, especially if you're going to state and national parks. Like imagine seeing Devil's Tower or the Rocky Mountains in the background. This is an awesome view. Also, we got some storage right here. Tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, you can put whatever you want. Uh, let's see, flashlights, yep. um, bags. Storage sure. stuff. Storage. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, I mean, there, okay, so something that I'm noticing in here, there's no cabinetry anywhere in here. Um, again, it's this is such a small trailer, and not putting the cabinetry in here makes it feel a lot bigger and spacious. I love these cushions. If we can zoom in on this, please. It says base camp. I love the red stitching, kind of the honeycomb pattern. And again, these big windows are very, very nice. And uh, yeah, it's just Airstream. It's aluminum. Perfect. And then can you show us the main living area back there? Yeah. All right. So you can turn this whole thing into a bed or you can do just one half. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you this down here oh storage underneath very nice now these are split in half so you can just do one half in the back so if you want to do like a lounging lounging area and then okay. you still have a table in here you can do that very nice now these cushions all clip in place okay good good so they're not going to go flying right. everywhere right love that feature uh, there is no storage on this side. That's where like your service area for the tanks and the water heater are. Okay. So you don't really get access to that. But guess what I do see? Those are D-rings oh, yeah. to tie down your bikes or your kayaks. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure they don't go flying in case you have to hit the brakes. That's right. Absolutely. Again, big storage right there. And over here. And more storage right there. Very nice. The tables do come with it. Mm -hmm. And then... Is there something that fills in to make this a full bed or no, it's it always just twins? So you can do twins. Uh, these tables are going to have shorter poles or gonna, uh, these tables are going to be your support when you okay. turn this into a bed. Okay. Uh, and then the longer poles are so you can use it as a table. Perfect. Uh, you do have some storage here. Let's show them this. It's a little hard to get off. Okay, a little bit of storage. I like how they put a maximum weight there. And then there's storage underneath there. Maybe put your shoes there. Or and something. then power and USB there. Again, just a small little camper. And uh, they gotta give you all the nooks and crannies where they can fit them in. Anita, do you know what time it is? It's, it's now time for the, the MSRP. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll, we'll keep practicing it later. Anita, what's the MSRP on this trailer? Uh, let's pull it up. I don't oh. have it memorized, y'all. I don't have it memorized. Oh, well, this Hold is a on. new 20X. Wanna do the honors? No, no, it's your show today. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, MSRP is 55600 and this is a 2022 model year. Perfect, 2022, and the MSRP is 55600 and then this shows you all the options that come with it. Uh, very, very nice. But Anita, if somebody wants to get the best price on this, and the best service, before, during, and after the sale, and the best experience buying an Airstream, who should they call? Call Airstream of Tampa. Phone <laughs> oh, 813 452 6344. And would you say most of your customers come from out of state? Yep. Um, Why is that? We're number one. Number one. They're going to give you the best experience. Come here, 
tour their beautiful facility, take a look at the Airstream interactive display, take a look at their little museum. It's not a big museum, but it's a nice little Airstream museum and just learn the history about Airstreams right. with uh, an Airstream expert like That's Anita. Right. That's right. And uh, what's your extension again? 1655. Perfect. Let's continue the video. All right. Again, this is a small trailer, but you have a lot of storage here. Very nice. A little spice rack over here. Okay, okay. Cutlery tray. Yes. Okay. This one. Very nice. Little storage, glass doors, which is a little weird. I'm not saying weird in a bad way, I'm just saying weird in a different way. Okay, did we open up those? Which, these ones, yeah. Oh, I'm Maybe sorry. No, you're fine. Nope. Yeah. yeah, sorry. Just because I forgot. Why not? Yep, and then what we got? Oh man, we got a nice tower of power right here, guys. I love that. Round sink. Okay. Sink cover, two propane burners. Okay. Very nice. Right here's like a little place to put your keys and everything. More storage over here. So. Oh. Pantry or wardrobe space. It is going to have to double up in here. Very nice. And then this one does have the optional microwave. That's right. That is an option. And the optional AC unit. Your all electric refrigerator. Okay. With a little freezer section in here. Yep. Yep. Very small. Now, hang on a second. Yep. What are these that I'm seeing? What are those? Oh, awesome. So Airstream now started, ooh, started adding QR codes. So if you want to learn how to use your propane cup top or the refrigerator, you just scan the QR code and it'll teach you or take it to a video on how to do it. What, or from you, Airstream? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> I didn't know that. Oh, wait, we left these up. Hold on. More storage. USB ports. Uh, these buttons down here are the tank heaters. Okay little breaker box very nice 12 volt charging yes usb ports yes in a master disconnect switch and then anita it's now time for the toilet test uh -oh. yeah. did you want to do it no you can do it oh, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah don't don't take that away from me anita that's all i have my legacy is sitting on a toilet okay decent size a lot bigger than what i thought it would have been Anita and I, we don't know when this video is going to come out, but we just did a Class B video. Um, and this is more space than the Class B, I will say that. Highly, highly, highly impressed. I can't believe the bathroom's this big. They didn't, they didn't need to do that. Porcelain toilet? <laughs> Man. And you get a window. Yes. Got a little towel. You know what? I want to give this a prime poop position so bad. I can't because my arm's sticking out the door. But I must say, I am really impressed with the size of this. And I'm super, super impressed with it being a porcelain toilet. You know what I'm going to do? This, not a prime poop position, but I'm going to give this an honorable prime poop position. Um, What's it called? Bing! I don't know. Put up the whole thing there. Very happy with this. I just can't believe It's not a prime poop position, but it was like... They did a great job in this bathroom. Very nice. Plenty of headspace and everything. I'm actually really, really impressed with this. Great. In an Ada, as nice as it is and as great as it is, that's it and that's the review. Now, before everybody leaves, you know the rules. It's now time to give you three things we love about the Basecamp 20X and three things we dislike about it in Ada. What do we do first? Let's do dislikes first. Oh man, I hope you wouldn't have said that. <laughs> um. I have two. Do you have one? I can think of a third. Oh, no, no. I do have three if you don't have three. Go what? Ahead. What? I have one, but go ahead. Go oh, ahead. you do have one? No, no, no. no. I want to hear what you have to say. My one thing with this, I wish the cushions were a little bit thicker. Okay. Especially since you're going to be sleeping on them. You know? Got it. It's just a little bit, just a little bit thicker. Yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, that's just like number one. Wish that these were thicker. Here's what I will say. Again, you're saying this is for the person who's upgrading from the tent. Mm -hmm. So I don't care if it was only a one inch thick. It's better than that dirt floor. You're right. You're so, right. <laughs> but again, great point with the uh, cushions. And we appreciate you giving a dislike. You know, a lot of salespeople won't give dislikes. <laughs> salespeople are always like, oh, it's so perfect just the way it is. And I'm like, come on, man. Give us a dislike. You know, again, nothing's perfect. Dislike number two, I am going to say I don't like the way 
that these roll down. Um, I understand why, but as you guys saw, we had to put a NATO on fast forward to get all these down. It's just not my cup of tea having to roll them down every time. Is it a big deal? No, not really. That's number two. And then a NATO. I have a third one. Me personally, I understand this is a small trailer and it's a lightweight trailer. I do not like the manual tongue jacks. Um, pushing a button for me, getting it on and off the truck, it's just the easiest and best thing that you can do. Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Now it's time for three things we love about this trailer. Anita, do you want to go first? Yeah, let's do it. Tell so us what you love. I love the tires on this trailer. Yes. I you know you're big on tires. Uh, again, people are going to use this trailer, going to go to Colorado, hiking, biking. They're going to need those tires, so that's a huge deal. I'm going to say the whole off-road X, X package. The lift crazy. kit and I love how this trailer is designed like this. Now this is also a small airstream, but look at that. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different, what, what is that? Oh, that's a- That's a 20 foot uh, caravel. Okay, so they're both 20 feet. But again, you can see the difference between that one and this one being more off the grid, off road and rugged. That's right. That's number one. May I do number two? Yeah, let's do Follow it. Follow me. All right. I love this door. I love this screen. I love the door. I love how it's constructed. And I love how you can use this not like a toy hauler, but kind of like a toy hauler. Yeah. Your bikes, your kayaks. Again, this is going to be for that adventure seeker. And so to get all of this and still get that amazing Airstream quality is absolutely amazing. And then Anita, I'm a guest in your house. Yeah. Give us number three. Number three. Let's see. Why would it be the aluminum construction? I mean, okay. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, it's going to last you, like you said, generations. Yes. You can pass it on to your grandkids or not. Just sell it yep yep back. yeah that would be my number three okay and, and then again just to add to that the way it's constructed the 300 million hours those rivets the airstream it's really is indestructible that's right. and it's a great unit absolutely yeah well anita that's it that's the review that's the all new base camp thank you guys absolutely everybody so much for watching if you guys could leave a comment down below this is a brand new floor plan correct uh yeah it's been around for a little bit how long model year oh okay okay so it's not super new but still it's new to me leave a comment down below let us know three things you like about this trailer and three things you dislike about it the more people to comment and smash that thumbs up button the more airstream likes to promote our videos anita is there anything you want to say thanks for watching i appreciate you guys taking the time to watch matt's video with me in it no no your video with me in it absolutely all right so if you guys Love meeting everyone that watches Matt's videos. Yes, All yes. People, so thanks for watching. Thank you. And, and again, what's the phone number one last time? 813-452-6344. Ask for NATO or extension. 1655. Great. Thank you You're absolutely welcome. everybody so much for watching. And thank you for being on the th no no no. Thank you for having me on your show today. <laughs> we appreciate it. And uh thank you so much to Airstream of Tampa for letting us review this. And Anita, we'll see you next thanks. time.